I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford. Let's talk about coral reefs and climate change. I'm a scientist, which means I like to ask a lot of questions and like to figure out how things work. Together with Professor Ove Hugulberg, a leading coral reef biologist, let's investigate why coral reefs are so important, what's threatening their existence, and what we can all do to help protect them. Asking the right questions is an important part of any scientific endeavor. As a scientist investigating coral reefs and climate change, what questions would you ask? Possible questions could be, what are coral reefs and why are they so important to humans and coastal ecosystems? What is climate change and how does it affect coral reefs? How can we all do a better job of protecting coral reefs? The answers to some of these questions are already well understood thanks to the hard work of many scientists. However, there are still many unknowns and much more effort is required to understand the issues and develop long-term solutions to deal with them. Let's take a look at what we know, starting with the first question in our list. What are coral reefs? Coral reefs are large natural structures produced by living organisms. They are most commonly found in the world's tropical seas and oceans, although corals are also found in cooler waters and in the deep sea. In most reefs, the major organisms are stony corals that secrete an exoskeleton of calcium carbonate. The accumulation of this skeletal material, broken and piled up by wave action, produces a chalky structure made of limestone. This limestone structure supports both the living corals and a variety of other plants and animals. Amazingly, coral reefs are actually the product of an important relationship between the coral polyp, an animal, something like a sea anemone, which can form large colonies of identical individuals, and a simple group of plants called zooxanthellae, which can live in coral tissues. Professor Ho Goldberg has spent 20 years studying coral reef biology and climate change. He has first-hand insight into why coral reefs are so important for people and coastal ecosystems. Hello, my name is Ove Hagulberg and I'm a biologist who specialises in coral reefs. For the past 20 years, I have studied coral reefs all over the world. These magical underwater kingdoms are renowned for their beauty and diversity. Covering less than 0.1% of the Earth's surface, coral reefs are home to an enormous number of animals, plants and other organisms that live in the ocean. Did you know, for example, that one in every four species that lives in the ocean lives on a coral reef? Coral reefs are not only diverse and beautiful, they're also very important to humans. Growing along coastlines of most tropical countries, coral reefs provide food and resources for at least 500 million people across the planet. In addition to providing food for these people on a daily basis, coral reefs are also important for the support that they provide to fisheries and industries such as tourism. One of the most important yet underappreciated services that coral reefs provide is that they protect coastlines of many countries from the energy of ocean waves. In this case, the reef crest lining coastlines and islands protects human homes and infrastructure as well as other important ecosystems such as mangroves and seagrass beds. Without these services, life in the tropics would be vastly different. Alarmingly, we have already lost between 30 to 40 percent of coral reefs over the past 50 years. Globally, coral reefs are under threat from a number of human pressures, including pollution and overfishing. These are already having major impacts on millions of people who depend on coral reefs for food and resources. Reef scientists have, however, recognized another worrying and potentially more destructive threat to coral reefs. This is the problem of climate change. So what is climate change? The science of climate change is complex, but most people probably know the basics. The Earth is heating up because gases like carbon dioxide produced from vehicles, power plants, deforestation and other sources are accumulating in the atmosphere, acting like a thick blanket that prevents heat from radiating back into space and therefore warming up our planet. Many scientists agree that our world is now hotter than at any other time during the past 1,000 years. 
This trend will continue if emissions of heat-trapping carbon dioxide keep increasing. In the ocean, climate change is causing problems for coral reefs and many other marine ecosystems.